Hi everybody, I'm Shah and sorry I'm late today with the card for today, but now you can look back and see whether your card resonated with you today. Uh, you can choose one or two or both. So here we go for Capricorn and Capricorn you've got the Fool. The Fool means take that leap of faith. You might not know everything, but take that leap of faith my darling, okay? Um, there's a new beginning at uh, right in front of you. When you take that leap, then it's a new beginning. If you've chosen two, that is justice. You've got justice. So something will become clear to you. Justice will be done. You'll get your justice, you'll get what you deserve, and the other will also get what they deserve. Uh, this could be also a traditional situation, um, but you could also be out of balance. So you need more information and the fool doesn't have any information. Look, he's got his back um, to the justice card. So he's walking away either from justice or he's just taking that leap of faith because he can't, he doesn't have any information to get clarity. See whether you can get clarity because the sword stands for clarity, uh, honesty um, and justice. So it, then it will bring you back to uh, your, brings you back into balance. Now we're going to Aquarius. This is your card, by the way, for the 27th of February. And you've got death if you've chosen number one. You're no longer the caterpillar. You're becoming the butterfly. And look, he's moving on to a new beginning. You're leaving the old behind. Then you have the um, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords means that you'll be getting news today, uh, or you might have had news today, Aquarius. This could be through text message, email, or a telephone call. Or you might be meeting up with um, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian. Look at this. The, the, it could be a new beginning with a new love or a friend. Then we go to Pisces. Pisces, you've got the devil. And you can see that the people have the hands free. Okay, so free yourself from anybody that's manipulating you or that you feel beholden to, tied up to. Um, you have to be your own person, have your own freedom. And if you are partnered up, yes, to have your life together, but on an equilibrium, in a balance. Nobody should be the boss. You should have respect in your relationship and you should also have the freedom. Everybody gives and takes and shares and shares alike. So break the free. If somebody's got a bad habit, is it you or is it your partner? Then tell them to seek help. And we've got the six of pentacles. So if you are more fortunate than others, then you might be giving a gift or might be giving a helping hand, a listening ear. If you're less fortunate, then you might be receiving a gift or receiving a helping hand or a listening ear. It could be related to the addiction or the bad habit that you or your somebody in your uh, surroundings have. Okay, Pisces. You might actually be giving that listening ear, like I said, to them. Now we're going to Aries, and Aries, you've got the sun. You have a new beginning. You might be hearing of a birth. This could be a new job, um, a new beginning, a new child, uh, expansion in the family. Something is being illuminated and you are standing in the spotlight. You'll need more information about the situation at hand or a question. Um, you might be going on holiday to a warm country or you might be moving home. Uh, there is definitely new beginnings. Perhaps a Leo has an eye on you, an other fire sign. And you've got the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups means dreams and goals. They might be coming true as you've got the sum. If not, then make a priority list, make a, a visionary board, uh, cut old photos from old magazines or load them down 
from YouTube or uh, in uh, Google and stick them on this visionary board and place this visionary board anywhere that you pass every day several times so that you could say I hope this will come in I hope money will come in or I hope I'll get my new home or I'll get that loan or I'll get that job or I'll get that wedding dress so Aries make a visionary board and make the pro and con list and then take action to get the most likely wish or goal that will come true quicker um, into action you'll have to get into action to get it um, coming towards you so manifest visualize and if it's a job go and look for a job take action let the universe and the angels know what you wish then we go to Taurus and you've got the Ace of Spades, sorry, the Ace, uh, not Spades, uh, Clover, um, but it is the Ace of Rods and you might have a new job, okay, Taurus, you might have that new job and uh, as the rods stand for work and hobby, so you might even start a new hobby. You might be moving home as well as that is movement and the rods do mean especially the knight of rods okay taurus then you've got the queen of cups you might be meeting a cancer a scorpio or a leo they stand for love nurturing passion sensuality and sexuality you might be meeting a queen of cups the the but it could also be a masculine person with a nurturing a feminine side will shine out the caring and the nurturing side okay this could be a boss nose or a manager uh, if you start a job right Taurus good luck with that and lots of success Gemini something is in suspension as you have the hanged man there could be delays of four hours four days four weeks or four months so don't worry get a different perspective start meditating sit quietly and evaluate the situation and uh, if you have any new ideas that might speed up the, the situation at hand or the question then you can come down because he's not hung up this is out of free will okay yes he can take himself down anytime so if you can see or get an idea to get this delay or something that is pending uh, up and running much quicker then go forth and discuss it but also have a different perspective and, a, and evaluate the situation at hand okay Gemini your wish is coming true because you've got the nine of cups that's an end of a phase a new beginning and the hanged man also means a new beginning in a way but it might be a, a slower or coming to you than you would like you might want it now or yesterday but it's taking longer than anticipated. Good luck. I hope you'll wish. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, now we're going to Cancer. Happy families. You've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, there might be family reunions or family and friends. There's an end of a phase, a new beginning. There might be a new love coming in, an expansion. There might be a pet coming into the home or you might find out that you're pregnant or you might have had this gift uh, like an inheritance or a pay rise so that you can move into a new home because the 10 becomes a 1. So there could be an expansion in something or rather. And you've got victory as you've got the six of rods. Victory is yours. And like I was saying, moving home, well, this does also mean moving home or going on holiday. You've got, a, you've got public recognition. So that could be the promotion that I was on about. Okay, Cancer. Now we're going on to Leo. This is the card for the 27th. So remember... Here we go, Leo, you've got the Two of Swords, you've closed your heart and your solar plex, um, and you're too much up in your head. Throw away these swords, open your heart, open your solar plex, take off this blindfold and look what is in front of you, 
and then make a decision or a choice so you can move forward and you are moving forward you've got the six of swords you might be moving home as well you might be going on holiday you might be crossing water but definitely you're leaving rough water and going to smoother waters you're leaving you're closing off a phase um, a difficult phase most probably and going into a new calmer better exciting phase okay now we're going to uh, let's have a look further i think Yes, we're going to number nine, Virgo. And Virgo, you've got an unexpected something happening today. Perhaps a breakup uh, at work or uh, from with a friend or something that has um, come and happened unexpectedly today. Something was not built on proper foundations. You couldn't make a decision or a choice, so the universe stepped in and the angels and gave you this unexpected change. When one door closes, then 20 will open. Take it as an adventure, okay? Um, because something better will come along. It could be a man, and this could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces, as this is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a nurturing man. So you could be meeting the King of Wands. Now we're going on to Libra. Libra, you've got the Nine of Staves. An end of a phase, a new beginning for you too, but you're taking a rest. You're accumulating your th thoughts or you're putting your thoughts together to get back into action and uh, to evaluate the situation at hand. There's a new beginning and it will happen very quickly as you've got the eight of rods. News will be flying around like nobody's business. You might be traveling. This could be business travel or this could be a holiday. And the eight of rods is news. This is cyber news through telephone, email or text message. Wow. And things are happening pretty fast and a lot. Boom, 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 boom. It never rains. It pours. Okay. Scorpio, you've got the four of pentacles. You have also closed yourself off um, mentally. Um, you're, you're too much in your head, so no, nothing else can come in. You, your vision can't change. You've ch uh, closed your heart chakra and your solar plex. It's like you are trying to protect yourself from any uh, negativity or negative people. Well, you're also isolating yourself in this way because um, you have to be open to receive joy and love. So throw away those coins and open yourself up so that the angels, Archangel Michael and Metatron, uh, those are the most important angels that can clear chakras and bring you love and joy back into your world. If you have been spending too much money, then this is a wake up call, tighten up the purse strings. And if you haven't been spending money because you want to hold on for a rainy day, that's great, but make sure you tickle yourself as well. We all need to tickle ourselves and love ourselves from time to time. Perhaps you've been through a difficult um, phase, like I said, because you've got the 10 of rods and the ten of rods that means that there is a period coming to an end and a new beginning you have to be open for this new beginning you've only got ten more steps to go it's just around the corner you can see the light at the end of the tunnel as a ten becomes a one Sagittarius you've got the knight of pentacles you might be hearing news about a job or another situation perhaps a birth, something that is for long term and dura has durability. You might meet a Virgo or a, a Capricorn or um, a Taurus. And you've got the seven of rods. You feel as if you have to defend yourself. Well, you can stand your ground. 
You are stronger than you think. Look at this guy, he's got both feet on the ground. So, perhaps that was your day. Perhaps you've heard that you've got a new job, or that somebody isn't expecting, or has given birth, or getting married. Um, there you go. You might be getting an invitation. News, news, news. But I think it will be with regards to something material for long term and du with durability. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for giving us uh, time uh, to watch this. Um, thank you very much from the depth of my heart. And I hope to see you tonight. And please give us the thumbs up. Remember, together we stand strong. Okay, so give us the thumbs up. And please share and like the video with family and friends. Ciao, ciao.